once again no sa bawat isa na uh, kung pala si Carlo Paloy or brother Carlo if you may call me so uh, hindi ko na kailangan sabihin na ako na atasan kasi obvious naman na dito ako sa harap ninyo uh, ako po yung na magsi-share ng message for this morning so um we have a series now we know that, that we have a series of spiritual attitude series so the three C's of life choices chances and change so if we have given a choice of course you no know, god has given us a free will so we are given a choice but it's up to us on what choice do we make or one choice that we have to choose you no know? and chances so we have given a lot of chances also in life if we are going to take the chances to move forward or to stay on the same uh, position or maybe if you want the chance to move backwards then the changes of course everybody of us wants to change change for the better so first week no we have our topic i choose to be joyful then on our second week i choose to do good on our now for this week we will be talking about patient and um, next week po i choose to i choose to practice self control so recap lang po sa previous sundays that we had so first week po i choose to be joyful so sabi nga doon no, happiness depends on your attitude it does not depend on what you have no so, second week i choose to do good no na even though we are in the midst of difficult circumstances no we we know na there are times na we don't have control over our situation but the only thing that we have in control is how to deal on that certain certain situation we do have control over how we choose to respond and that is to respond lovingly in faith for this morning yes no i choose to be patient no hindi po to na patient na person who needs medical attention ibang patient po yun uh, pasyente po yun So now we'll be talking about a different kind of patient. This patient is yung mapag pasensyo. So, okay. So before no uh, mag-start tayo, just want to to to, to share the time and coach no uh, binigay na yung topic na I choose na I choose to be patient. <coughs> Sabi ko nga sa kanya, wa sa lahat ng topic na pwedeng spiritual attitude yung patient talaga. So, sabi ko sa kanya, aray ang sakit kasi nga This no, this patient. Alam most of you alam. I'm 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 an impatient person. No, madali ako mairita. I I get easily no distracted. Makausap ko lang na hindi na parang hindi in line yung utak namin yung the way we talk. Parang maimis talaga ako. So I I no so ako I I really I easily no to get patient. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya sa lahat ng spiritual attitude na topic na pwede mong ibigay patient talaga. So I believe God has in store for me this morning and I believe God has in store for each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. Okay. So um So our text for today so is Galatians 5:23 22 23. So sabi sa NLT version, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. And we'll take a look at uh, the, the, the Passion Translation. Ito yung, te- ito, yung, ito yung text na gagamitin natin for this morning. With this, no, uh, the Passion Translation, it gave me an answer. Ang sabi dito, hanggang kailan ako maging patient, Lord, despite sa mga tao, nakakainis, no? Despite the circumstances na sobrang 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 na 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 Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, once again, uh, thank you for this wonderful time, uh, wonderful morning, Lord, uh, bringing us, Lord, together. Lord, we come here before you, knowing, oh God, Lord, uh, without you in our lives, 
No, we are nothing, O oh God, Lord. So we acknowledge you, Lord, above everything else, O oh God, Lord. And this morning, as we hear from you, O oh God, Lord, open Holy Spirit. Open our eyes, open our ears, Lord. Minister in every heart that are here right now, O oh God, Lord. And for all those, Lord, na nasa Zoom, O oh God. Lord, thank you once again, Lord, na we, we, we honor you, we glorify you in Jesus. Amen. Patient. So, sabi dito, patient, patience that, patience that endures. Sa Tagalog pa, saan aabot ang pasensya mo? So, so before that, no, let's define patience. Sabi dito, patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate or some, or, or some, uh, tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. Another meaning is, it is when you are supposed to be mad, but you choose to understand. Like, wow. No? The time na you are have the right no, magalit, but you choose no, to understand the situation sa tao and all the circumstances you are in. So examples that triggers, there are examples that triggers patient. No? In example na rin to nung last Wednesday, sabi ko nga kay Ate Alice, no na yung message last when they pwede bang na record naman yung pwede bang i-play na lang ngayon at para makinig na lang kayo lahat no so example the trigger patient impatience no long queue line grocery ka ang dami mong bitbit bumili ka ng isang item tapos ang pinilahan mo tadlawang cart tatlong cart no so ang tagal di ba so one thing no that it triggers your impatience is long queue line traffic jam no how many of you are guilty no when traffic jam when you are driving, somebody no, na biglang nag-cut sa'yo, parang na-trigger ka yung need for speed mo na ayaw mo magpatalo kasi gusto mo siyang ano din, lampasan kasi mas feeling mo, mas maganda yung kotse mo. So if things doesn't go as planned, no, there are times na parang yung plano natin hindi nasusunod kasi gusto natin pag ganitong araw, ganito yung mga plano, pag hindi nasusunod, no, and, we, and we get impatient. Answers to prayer, answers to prayers are delayed. No, you, you, nang relikla mo as ang tagal naman, ang tagal magantay. If others cannot catch our thoughts immediately, no, yung nga sabi ko kanina, pag may nakausap ako, pag, pag time na pag sinasabi kong ganito, tas even hindi niya nagigit agad, no, I really get impatient that kind of situation, no. Lack of patience, no, sabi dito, lack of patience daw, Kaya pala no, there is our lack of in uh, other lack of patience is because the man because of the manifestation of pride. So may may pride sa, sa puso. That's why nagiging impatient tayo. Kaya sabi ni King Solomon sa Ecclesiastes 7b, patience is better than pride. And we know King Solomon is he, you know, famous because of all of his riches and he didn't even pass on this and he ask no wisdom from from God okay so so why patience is important patience is important because patience or being patient helps us to make better decisions patience is the pause that helps us get our thoughts back in order and our feelings under control. So yun nga, gaya na sabi ko, when you're in a certain situation or circumstance no, na, na, na titrigger yung impatience mo, you choose to be patient mo, parang oh, wait muna. Parang kailangan mo i-pause, kunin mo yung composure ng sarili mo, and that's when patience come in. And it makes your feelings no under control. So because it helps preserve our relationship with those that we that we care about. No, most of the no, we know no. Listen to this. No? Most of the common problem we have today is actually the result of us being impatient. No, that's why you get anxious in life because you are impatient, and you you know that you hurt someone maybe because of the reason of you being impatient. Kaya tayo nakakasakit ng uh, hindi man physically but in our words because of us no. We, we hurt somebody because of us being impatient. Now, there are decisions also in life that, uh, that we mismanage because of being impatient. Kaya nga, sabi kaya nyo may mga decisions tayo na ura-urada kasi nga, 
wala na yung patience no parang doon sa situation hype na yung hype na yung 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 yung, yung emotion mo hype na yung state of mind mo then again no directly you give uh, decisions that are not supposed to be na tama so because alam natin no because it's really hard to wait and uh, I, i am guilty of that no and i don't know kung madali lang pa sa inyo yung magi wait Uh, mag- mag-antay. So, ang hirap talagang mag-antay. And we are having a hard time to really, no, willingly wait. And we know that patience is one of the virtue that is really hard to master. So, when you, when you, when you say about virtue, virtue is, no, is have a, uh, is an aspect showing high moral standards. And we know that patience is a virtue because patience really showing a high moral standard. And it requires two things. Uh, uh, calmness of the spirit and presence of mind or be mindful or be conscious no tayo nga pag nag pag nakaharap tayo sa salamin we are very conscious to sa sarili natin no dinikit na natin kung maganda o pogi na ba tayo yung iba nakapagkilay na ba nakapagsuplay na we are so very conscious to sa, sa sarili natin but we are not conscious about how no the no na uh, we are not conscious about how we no show our patience to others again if there are things that we need to be conscious or be mindful about is to really be patient because patience is not the ability to wait but to maintain a good attitude while while waiting so sometimes so there are times that we don't have may mga times na no we don't have a choice but to really wait no alam natin sa situation natin wala tayong magagawa in those situation but we really have to wait no parang kailangan tayong magantay but alam niyo yan sa sarili niyo. Kahit nag-aantay ka, but something inside you na yung sasabi niyo na parang one thing, one thing to, to explode. One thing na parang, o oh nga, nag-aantay ka, pero something inside you parang, ang naman ito. Parang inside you, something is want to explode. No? Something na, na, na gustong mag-burst out. No? Tapos meron ka tayong mga kataga na sinasabi na, na oh, pasalamat ka, naging pwisaan ko, hindi pa katikip ka sa akin. Yung mga ganun pa tayong mga sinasabi. So, no? Because no patient is not just the ability to wait, but maintain a good attitude while waiting. Hey, you may not know, you may not even know telling this, but you know that it's happening inside you. Why? So when you get to understand that the fruit of the spirit is inside of you, and we know that because during that time, no God has given His Spirit already in us. And when you and when you get to understand that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is inside of you, which is divine love. Gaya ng text natin kanina, which express on various expressions, uh, you have the power now to be patient in all circumstances because love simply produces patience. First Corinthians 13.4 NIV, love is patient. On another translation, the Passion Translation, love, in expound pa, love is large and incredibly patient. Ang sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, be patient. Sabihin mo sa sarili mo, I am incredibly hope. No, hindi po incredibly, incredibly patient. Okay, bakit nga ba? Then I ask myself, no? Dun sa, dun sa, sa 1 Corinthians 13.4, but patience ang ingo na as a description of love is patient. You know, binilagay dun na love is kind. Love is ganito. Love does not record of wrongdoings. Ang inong na talaga, love is patient. No? Because love should be waiting. And it's not just waiting, but waiting with a good attitude. So the time I, I've i been sharing, no, yung, nag-share din ako about J, uh, Jacob. And nung sa, sa, sa Tuesday group, nag-share din ako, ako kay Jacob. So Genesis 29.20. No, grabe si Jacob. No, so Jacob served seven years to get Rachel. No, he served already seven years for Leah, then another seven years again no, for Rachel. But they seem like, sabi nito, but they seem like only a few days to him because of his love for her. Yun. So, love na pala yung topic na. Uh, anyway, four areas in which we should exercise no, patience. Ano mga area daw sa buhay natin na kailangan natin i-exercise yung ating pagiging pasensyoso. So, so number one, exercising patience in our problems. Proverbs 14, 29. Whoever is patient and slow to anger shows great understanding, but whoever has a quick temper magnifies 
foolishness. So when problem comes up, that slows our progress. Progress because we want instant solution. Kaya nga nung nung nung, nung na share last Wednesday, no, the world is teaching us, no, is showing us, no, na lahat instant. Buy now, pay later. Oh, may gamit ka na, kahit mamaya mo pabayaran. Instant. Instant noodles. Meron. No? Instant kape, lahat instant. So, the world is showing us this. No? That's why people are inclined, if really not, uh, know all this, no? the, especially the word of God, no? they easily tend to incline on those instant instant. And they, no, hindi na nila nakapractice yung kanilang spatial. Especially, when the problem arrives, especially in their situation or in their circumstances. So, sabi dito, when every time you are in a problem, right? So, you cannot see your reflection in a boiling water. Similarly, you cannot see the truth in a state of anger when the water, in the state of anger when the water is calm, clarity comes. Uh, comes yes. Try mong tignan yung sarili mo pag ano, bumukulong tubig, hindi mo makita yung sarili mo. Ganun din, no, hindi mo nakikita yung sitwasyon, yung mga problema. Pag yung puso mo is galit ka. So, kailangan, no, kailangan dumating yung calm water. Calm. Kailangan maging kamado tayo. Calmness of the spirit. Then the clarity comes. So, mas madali tayong makapag-isip, makamake tayo ng decision ng naaayon ng tama. Okay? So, number two, Exercising patience with people. Ito. So, I believe no lahat struggle with this. No? Always be humble and gentle. Ephesians 4.2 Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with one another, making allowance for each other's fault. No, we are to be patient with one, under, one another. We are not to return evil for evil. Kung ginawa tayo ng masama, hindi nila tayo pwedeng gawan na sila ng ulit ng, in return ng masama. Kaya nga na sinabi last week, no? Never tired of doing good. So, pag ginawan tayo ng mabuti, gawan ng mabuti. Pag ginawan tayo ng masama, gawan pa rin natin ng mabuti. Because we are, we are, we are taught that, we are taught that uh, we never get tired of doing good. Instead of getting angry with people or with a person, with a certain person, we need to pray for them and be patient that God is going to work in their lives. No, I have experienced no lately. No, I was uh, train ako ng I was training ultrasound. No, but siyempre nakagather lahat ng nurses. I was speaking, blah blah blah, like this that, teaching them how to use. And suddenly, you know, there was of the nurses para nakikinig. Siyempre, of course, nung nakikinig sila parang okay, parang walang masadong tanong. And there this one nurse, no, parang ang kulit pa. Yung mga questions na out of this world. No, parang the day I realized myself, no, no. Parang tinetesting talaga niya yung patients ko. So, so I just try to, no, to, to calm myself, no. Slowly, no, my voice is getting, no, parang tumataas na yung boses ko. But I just realized, no, that, o nga, I choose to be patient. Then, hinayangan ko lang siya. I just answer, no, yung mga questions na, no, na kaya kong mas, uh, 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 sagutin doon based doon sa mga questions niya. And it says here, a moment of patience in a moment of anger saves you a hundred moments of regret. Amen. Amen po ba? Yes. Yeah. Tapos no, when you try to to, 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 to practice no, on that certain situation, nagalit ka sa isang tao, practice patience. No? It's a moment only of patience on that certain moment of anger and it will save you no, a hundred moments of regret. For example, hindi po pinactice mong patience mo. You didn't practice patience on that certain situation, that certain person. No, alam mong sobrang nakakainis sa so sinan kung minsan nang umiinitit pa, di ba? So parang, ah, ganun talaga yung, ano mo ba? So yung, yung, yung expression. So no, just practice, no, extend a bit of patience, no, extend a bit of patience on that certain situation. And it will save you a hundred moments of regret. No, for example, yun nga, sabi ko, hindi natin practice yung patience. Then we met that certain person. Of course, we are this time, nag-reconcile tayo. But during those reconciliation, after that, para o oh, nga, no, sana hindi ko nalang ginawa. Then that's the, that's regret comes in. So rather than uh, uh, na, uh, reaching to that point of regret, why not during that moment, no, et, ano, uh, extend your patience. No, I'm not saying this because I'm a perfect person na who masters patience. No? I too, nung, nung binigay sa akin ko, it really no, teach me no, that really, we need to, 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 to be patient with one another. 
Sabi nga di ba? Ephesians 4.2 Be patient with one another Making allowance Making allowance For each other's faults Because of your love Number three Exercising patience with yourselves James 1.2-4 Don't run from tests and hardships. So pag may mga tests and hardships, huwag tayo tumakbo. Huwag natin layasa. No, brothers and sisters, as difficult as they are, you will ultimately find joy in them. If you embrace them, your faith will blossom under pressure and teach you true patience and, you, and teach you true patience as you endure. And true patience brought on by endurance will equip, will equip you to complete the long journey and cross the finish line, mature, complete, and wanting nothing. So, pag we are on a tight situation, we are on testing, we are in hardship, we are in circumstances that we are facing, no? You practice patience, no? Because this patience, no, will help us, no? Endure and will equip us to be complete. And once we complete this one, we won't be lacking nothing. So, many times, no, we struggle with our sins, and we know that. And we get discouraged with ourselves to the point of wanting to give up. No, parang nagkasala ka, nagpatawa, na sumingi ka ng tawa, then at the same time, nagkasala ko, list, pabalik-balik. Tapos, tapos, you find yourself, ah, parang, di bali na nga, hindi, hindi na ako magsisimba, eh. ayaw ko na kasi nga parang paulit-ulit na lang. So we get discouraged with ourselves. Now, remember this, no? God never, God never no, get tired of no, you. No, the, the reason why we are still alive here today, alive and thinking, no? Because of God's patience to us. Amen? Amen? Example, Thomas Edison. Alam natin si Thomas Edison? Thomas Edison, the one who, na, the one who created the light bulb na yung incandescent now. So, it took him, no? it took Thomas Edison 3,000 times. 3,000 times to find the correct filament for the light bulb. Now, what if, no? Thomas Edison, uh, after 2,200 times, no, he gave up already. Parang napagod na siya. Then, I, th- I don't think we should have these lights nowadays. No? So, same thing with us and same thing with ourselves also. No? And it does not happen overnight. And we know that. It does not happen overnight. Patience is the ability to keep going on. So, no matter what you are facing with yourself, you get tired of yourself also. No, then, Keep going, no pushing, no pressing on no, towards the goal and towards God. And give yourself a chance and give your chance, always a chance not to grow. Number four, where we can exercise our patience. So exercising patience with God's plan. Romans 8.25 But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for patience. Because alam natin ang plano ng Panginoon, hindi natin nakikita yan. So we just hope no, for the things that we do not see and we are exercising what? Faith. We wait for it with patience. So another, Hebrews 10, 36. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what He promised. So if you persevere, no, dun sa ano, lahat ng plano ng Panginoon sa iyo, then you will see, you will receive no, the promise of God sa buhay natin. God asks many things of us and promises rewards for the faithful. Amen? We cannot always understand why God thinks certain actions are important. He simply asks us to do, the, to do them, to be obedient and persevere. Sometimes the faithfulness must extend even beyond our ability to ever see the promise reward here on earth. Even when we cannot see the end, we can, we can wait and trust in the one who rewards in his own time. So may mga ano, kahit no, alam natin hindi na kinakita ang plano, God asks us to do this, this, and that. No, but we do it no, with obedience and perseverance. We extend our faithfulness no, sa Panginoon even though we don't see. But in His right time, no, we know that God rewards the people who persevere and God rewards those people who are faithful to Him. So, patience with problem. Patience with the problem is self-control. Patience with others is love. Patience with self is hope. And patience with God is faith. So first Sunday, first Sunday we have, uh, we have, uh, we Coach Ray uh, shared us the story of 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 Paul. And second Sunday, Ati Alice shared the, the 
the, the story of uh, Joseph. You know? And this morning, we'll be sorry, we will be sharing the story of Queer Richard. Sorry, huh? joke lang yun. So it's the story of Nehemiah. So background lang of Nehemiah, of course, we can find the story of Nehemiah in the book of Nehemiah. So Nehemiah is a cupbearer. Nehemiah is a cupbearer of a king of King Artaxerxes. And it was the time when the Jews was released back. No, ito yung time na Nehemiah was a cupbearer and he's serving King Artaxerxes. And this was the time when the Jews uh, came back to Jerusalem after they have been captive by the Babylonians. So ito yung time na na-release na sila tapos pabalik na sila sa Jerusalem. And Nehemiah, uh, dumating yung brother niya tapos nagbigay ng masamang Balita. And his brother's name is Hanani. Now, the, 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 the news was about the broken walls of Jerusalem. Uh, the gates has been uh, torn out. And the people were in great trouble and in great distress. So when, when Nehemiah heard the news, he was bothered. He was disturbed. And he could not keep his countenance. Countenance is yung pagmumupak. No? Kasi when, when Nehemiah heard the news no, na yung Jerusalem nga na yung broken walls and the people were discouraged and no Nehemiah cannot keep his countenance and during that time if you are serving the king and you are serving in the king's court if you are serving the king no bawal po yung masama ang mukha nung time na yun because why? because if masama yung pagmumukha mo or negative yung aura mo na it, you can be put to death straight away pwede kang pugutan nung sa time na yun and the more you are uh, take note no, that during yun na during those times, bawal po yung mga masasamang mukha. Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo kung masama kong mukha niyo. Kasi bawal yan dito. Okay? So, so bawal ang hindi joyful. No? Bawal ang hindi joyful when you are serving. Bawal ang hindi joyful when you are serving. When you are serving the king. Why? Because you could be killed. Yung, you could be killed or you could be put to death. And that's how the kingdom works. That's how the kingdom works. You cannot serve with wrong countenance. You cannot serve with wrong attitude or looking sad, especially in the presence of the king. And during those times, you know that masyadong ano talaga, masyadong strength. Now, what's cupbearer? Cupbearer, anong role ng cupbearer? Cupbearer is a role no, na sila yung tagatikim at taga tagatikim ng inumin at tagatikim ng mga pagkain ng king because those during those times king are very prone to poison so kung in our times in our times today they are the PSG of our president so pag may mga sniper may mga assassinate o talagang ganun agad tira pong patay mga PSG patay yung presidente buhay same thing with Nehemiah if there are na threat with the with the king during those times they are the ones who who who, who protect who protect the king no, but Nehemiah has his, but Nehemiah has his own, his own story to tell for us to learn and understand how to be patient in the midst of distress and discomfort during the time that Nehemiah was, it was really bothered and distressed because of the news of his you know, people. No, let's see you know, how and why would Nehemiah found favor in the sight of the king despite the odds of his ways despite of his countenance in the presence of the king. So let's learn and see you know, how did Nehemiah found favor in front of the king despite of his you know, bother, nababother si, si Nehemiah of the, of the news. Nehemiah patiently waited from the month of his left until the month of Nisa. So month of his left is like in our Gregorian calendar today, it's month of November this month of this is November to December. And the month of this is from March to April. So imagine Nehemiah uh, endured, patiently endured for four months you know, because of the news. And after he had heard the news and he had that problem, but Nehemiah maintained the attitude and waited patiently until he was noticed by the king. Nehemiah did not manipulate the situation. So whatever, you no. Know, Ang, 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 ang anong circumstances si Nehemiah during that time, he never manipulated his situation. He was true to him, true, true to his condition. And we can, we know that later on, on that, the, 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 the text 
that we are going to remove. Uh, Nehemiah endured months of being disturbed and being disrupted because of the burden that God has placed in his heart. So the burden that Nehemiah was bringing for four months is the burden that God has placed in his heart. So maybe some of us here, no, parang burden-burden na lang. Hindi naman galing sa, sa, sa Panginoon na burden ka kasi hindi ka pa nakapag-breakfast kanitang umaga. So, in, it's not that kind of burden that Nehemiah was 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 feeling. So, what did Nehemiah do in the period of waiting? So, what are the characteristics of patience that endures? So, here are the four P to patiently endure. So, if you can see, no tatlo lang yan, but I will give you the four P, and maybe I will ask you try to 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 what 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 is the the the, the four P? So. Four P's we can learn from Nehemiah for us to patiently endure. So four, four P to patiently endure. Praying, position, and planning. So praying. Nehemiah 1.4. Sabi ni Nehemiah, When I heard this, I sat down and wept. In fact, for days I mourned, fasted, and prayed to the God of heaven. So during that time when he heard the news, what did Nehemiah pray? Uh, what did Nehemiah do? He prayed to the God of heaven. It is important that we should be praying with the right attitude because praying with the right attitude is the key to answered prayer. And we know that it's written in the Bible. If you have wrong motives, then you, your answers won't be, your prayers won't be answered. So that's why praying with the right attitude is the key to answered prayer. And prayer is not just asking for something, it's relating, it's relating to God. So we have no, when we are very new to, we, we are new as Christians, no, we always know our prayers like baby prayers. And we know that, no, parang, hingi ka lang ng hingi, Lord, ganito, gusto na ganyan, gusto na ganyan. But, uh, but as we mature though, may, ta- may tinatawag din na mature prayers. And these are the prayers that, these are the prayers that not just asking God for something, it's relating to God. No, this is the prayer of Nehemiah. And when you read the book of Nehemiah 1, kita mo doon yung prayer ni Nehemiah. He was really relating to God. Before the time of Abraham, during those time of, uh, no, before pa. So he was really relating to, to God. And this is the prayer of Nehemiah. Uh, he's not, he's not no begging. He's not begging. Uh, he's not a begging prayer. No, and he and Nehemiah is praying, no relating to God. No, and we cannot treat God as an ATM. ATM. Imagine, kaibigan mo, no, lalapit ka lang sa kaibigan mo pag may kailangan ka, hindi ako ganito, hindi ako na ganyan. Di ba? Parang, parang very, very not good. So, yun. <laughs> so, imagine, no, lagi na pag lumalapit sa'yo, may hihingi. After, di na kausapin, tapos lalapit na, may hihingi na naman. Parang, parang, parang ginawa kang bangko, parang may nakatagong pera ba sa'yo. So, Sometimes of prayer, no, we know that prayer is not like that. No, it's not more of not more on like asking, always asking, but more on like relating to to God. Because when we relate to God, we come to God in prayers, and it requires, alam natin, it requires faith and trust. Talaga sa Panginoon when we pray, because prayer is to elevate the mind, the will, the emotion, and perception to God's perspective. So, it's like uh, binabalot natin yung isipan natin yung buuan for every time when we pray and we're bringing to a perspective no higher than on what of what our circumstances, not on our perspective but, but on God's perspective. Albert Einstein said, you cannot solve a problem at the same level at, at which it was created. No, if you want to really solve a problem, no, you know, you don't you don't stay on that level because you will never we will never solve that problem why because you will only get disappointed you will only get frustrated because on your level of of thinking side level ng perception mo sa yung perspective makita mo lang puro problema puro problema but when you no elevate yourself elevate your thinking elevate your will your perception to god's perspective then that's the time you can see the whole picture of the certain situation your desire to change someone, no, ito, example, no, parang, you are not in good terms with somebody, maybe your wife or your husband, ka, or someone you very dear for you, no, parang, sabi mo na, 
sobrang galit ka. And you bring it to God. Nang sabi, Lord, galit ako kay galit ko, nakakainis, nagbalaga, lahat susumbong mo sa panahon. And your desire to change someone, no? Imbis mo, baguhin mo siya. But in the end, no? Ikaw ang pinago ng Panginoon. And every time you see him, no, may mga times na pagbukas para na pinto, makita mo na siya, it's close agad, alis. Na parang gano'n yung gagawin. So, when you no, bring it to God, you, you relate to God in your prayer, no? Instead then, God, no, you sometimes see yourself, no, na ikaw po yung binago. Hindi po ang, hindi sila, no? So, Nehemiah 1.11. Ito yung prayer ni Nehemiah. Uh, on the last parts of prayer ni Nehemiah, no? Oh Lord, please hear my prayer. Listen to the prayers of those of us who delight in honoring you. Please grant me success today by making the king favorable to me. Put it into his heart to be kind to me. Ito yung prayer ni, ni Nehemiah. And I believe that this prayer of Nehemiah is not a one-time prayer. It's, it's in his heart no, to really pray during the time of his life, the month of his life, to the month of his son. Four to five months of patiently enduring Nehemiah. He was praying. So, and Nehemiah prayed with understanding that it's, um, it's, a, it's relating to God. And prayer that seeing the circumstances in God's perspective. So number two, another P, no, where we can learn from Nehemiah, where we can patiently endure is positions. Position, sorry. Romans 5, 1 to 2. We have been justified through faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of the Lord. So, kita mo dito, no? Now, we have already peace with God. We are not anymore any peace with God. And we know that it's the work of Jesus Christ because we know that Jesus Christ is the one who preached us to God. And, no, then through Jesus Christ also, we have gained access no, by faith into, into this grace in which we now stand. Alam natin yung position na natin sa Panginoon. It's right standing before God because we have gained access already. And that's no that's the that's the position that we have to to to, to position in right now. No, we have to know no our position and we have to position on that position also the right standing before God. Okay, so Nehemiah two one to two. Early the following spring in the month of Nisan, during the twentieth year of King Artaxerxes reign, I was serving the king his wine. So nagsaserve na si na, during the time after four during the time of month of Nisan na no, siyempre si Nehemiah since he was a cupbearer, so he still continue no, serving even though may burden sa, 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 sa because of the because of the, the, the news that he received during the time month of his death. So I was serving the king his wine. I had never before appeared sad in his presence. So the king asked me, why are you looking so sad? You don't look sick to me. You must be deeply troubled. troubled. Sabi niya, then I was terrified. Nung, tinanong, nung nalaman ng king, when the king noticed that Nehemiah is looking sad, wala naman siyang sakit, looking healthy naman si Nehemiah, but something is no, not right with Nehemiah during that time. And, and we know that Nehemiah has been having this burden, no, burden from na binigyan ng Panginoon sa kanya. So, no, this time, na, when Nehemiah, no, so the king, no, na-notice na ng king na Nehemiah is, but sabi niya, no, I never appeared before sad in his presence. No, I, sa office din, eh, uh, malapit kasi ako sa, sa, sa pinto namin ba, so every time someone doorbell, ako yung minsan nagbubukas ng pinto. And I always, no, nag-lay ko na chichampuha na pumapasok yung, yung boss namin. So, when I open the door, of course, of course, like, you have to say good morning, right? Good morning, boss. And with a smile, don't he? And as the days goes by, recently, lang mga state goes by, then we have this no, personal personal one-on-one -on -one meeting because of appraisal. So, and one of the, he noticed no, with me, no, sabi niya, na, I, I, I notice you, no, parang, you don't look very happy na parang ganun. So, is it with the, so is it with the, with the company or uh, parang gano'n, ano bang may tutulong namin? Sabi ko, 
Kailangan ko ng increase ng sunod. <laughs> so no, 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 the point, on the point, the point is this. No, the point is no matter no once you have really that burden, something deep in your heart, no, no matter how hard you try, no people will really notice that something is really bothering you. And this is the case of Nehemiah. No, for months Nehemiah kept his right standing before God. And he was continually praying. And during this time, no, Nehemiah served after serving, drink, tasting all these drinks no, for, 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 for four months. No? And continually, continually praying and serving without grumbling and murmuring. And this time, nga, because of the favor, no, na dun sa prayer, nga, this time, the king noticed already no, Nehemiah. And he even noticed, no, and you can see here, the, noti- uh, the king is concerned with Nehemiah. Imagine if other king, why are you looking so sad? Hey, you are, yung nga sabi natin kanina, na if you are, you cannot serve in the king's court if you are looking sad, if your your countenance is very wrong, your motive is wrong. Tapos kung tinanong siya ng king, if you, kung sa ibang king pa yun, or even, or shall we say, no, na kung si Nehemiah hindi nag-break and he didn't know his position no before God, when the king asked him, why are you looking sad? Palabasin si Nehemiah, pagbuta ng ulo. So, but you see here, no, that uh, and the king showed no concern to you know, the king showed concern to Nehemiah. What was troubling and bothered him, and we know what happened next, no, because how you deeply position yourself to God will be favored publicly, and we know that no, sa story ni Nehemiah, how you deeply position yourself as long as. You're in a right standing before God. Your heart is right. Your attitude is right. Your 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 attitude towards others also is right. You will be favored publicly. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, maintain the right position. Third P is planning. Proverbs 16.1 Go ahead and make all the plans you want, but it's the Lord who will ultimately direct your step, steps. Proverbs 16.9 Within your heart, you can make plans for your future. But the Lord chooses that steps you to get there. So, uh, example lang si Jethro. No, Jethro know about this. No? Sometimes, no, pag nasa office, boring, walang ginagawa, makaharap pa lang sa laptop, tapos yung, yung parang sobrang tagal, wala pa sa ginagawa. But sometimes, iikot, pagkikipagpentuhan. So, those people yung excited kasi may mga di ba series of mga holidays and people are getting wanted to to getting leave o mag-leave ako sa ganito ang gusto pa nang iba ginagawa dire-diretso so i asked Petro no ayaw mo ba mag-leave and he, he always respond no no para mag-leave siya but hindi yung diretso but because meron siyang plano there may may plano siya because he will save his leave because Maybe by December my plan sila na uwi ng Pilipinas and bago sila umuwi ng Pilipinas Nagplano sila, of course, may naglabas yung, yung ministry na you cannot, you can you can go out Brunei and come back as long as you have vaccine already. So, they take action. They plan. They, parang nakaplano. And we, and especially to those people na nakaplano, and yesterday also, no, nag-usap kami ni Ate Alice, no, and we know that maybe one, one, one year na lang yung yung, ano, yung stay nila doesn't work that way. So make your plans. So make the plans for you want, but allow God to direct your plans. Because waiting patiently doesn't mean waiting idly. So hindi yung nag-aantay ka, patiently waiting ka, yes. At wala ka na maginagawa. So, so this means that your prayer must be supported not only with the promises of God, that might give you confidence to be hopeful, but also carefully plan out. Sample lang sa buntis, no? Lord, healthy baby, pag-anak, ganito, ganyan. But you have to plan. Makabili dapat na ganito, yung baby ko may ganon. Dapat mag ganito. Paglabas, meron ng lampin, lahat, kumpleto, kulay puti pa lahat. Gusto puti. Plus, dapat yung baby, yung... Dede, at afen ba yun? Diba? So we care to plan. We, 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 we plan. Even the yung mga buntis. Kaya sa healthy baby, tapos kung ano-ano kinakain. So Nehemiah, 
two, four to eight. The king asked, Well, how can I help you? Doon, tingnan mo dito. With a prayer to the God of heaven. Tinanong lang siya ng ari. Napadasal agad si Nehemiah. Just takot, di ba? When the king really, on that time, when your countenance is wrong, masama ang itsura. Straight away, Ken. But this time, with a prayer to the God of heaven. Verse 5, I replied, If it please the king, and if you are pleased with me, your servant, send me to Judah to rebuild the city where my ancestors are buried. The king with the queen sitting beside him asked, How long will you be, how long will you be gone? When will you return? After I told him how long I would be gone, the king grant, agreed, granted my request. Itong time na hindi nagpaplano, hindi nagpray si Nehemiah, and Nehemiah didn't know his will be, will be going to waste. Mawawala lang. Basta sayang. So sayang na yung pag-aantay mo, then you manipulate your season of waiting. Then it will be nothing. Sayang. So if you want to put patience in action, Number one, pray, position, plan, and understand the word process. Because once we, we, we understand this, no, we, we, we put no, patience in action. And during the, the time of our season of waiting, the time of you know, our you know, praying and all this planning position, we know, you know the things that we have waited for that. And we know that on Ecclesiastes 11, God has made everything. Amen. 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 Shall we pray? <coughs> Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, thank you for this message. Thank you for the spirit that is in work in us, O God. Because we know that we can practice patience. And there are so many things, Lord, that uh, we can you know, exercise our patience, Lord. And you have given us, Lord, the strength, the spirit, O God, Lord, to, to activate and to really practice and to ma, ma put into action, Lord, that patience, Lord, in us. Lord, and I pray for those people with me right now, oh God, Lord, may you continually, Lord, pour out your love, your patience. And Lord, uh, these things that we ask, Lord, from you, Lord, we are so very thankful that you yourself, Lord, is in your nature, that you are patient, patient, Lord, in us. Once again, O oh God, Lord, thank you for, for this time, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We bring back you all the glory, all the highest adoration. Jesus. Amen.